Happy New Year from Pacific Northwest Best Life. You know, I get asked sometimes from people who don't live here, what time of year uh, should I come to uh, Pacific Northwest to, uh, you know, get in on some good fishing or, <clears throat> or hunting or other kind of recreation? You know, there's something to do every month of the year in the Pacific Northwest. I'm in Western Washington. I'm gonna talk through my recreation calendar for 2021. Hopefully it's a better year than 2020 in every way, but we're gonna talk about the recreation calendar, hunting, fishing, crabbing, squidding, shellfish harvesting, <clears throat> all, all of it. We're gonna talk about what seasons I'm most interested in, most excited about in 2021. Here we go. All right, starting in the month of January, we have uh, a steelhead season going on right now for hatchery steelhead. And uh, I like to go out to the coast, hit some rivers out there. Uh, that kind of slows down by about uh, middle of January. So uh, if you haven't already gotten out and got a steelhead, uh, you want to make some time to do that. Also really exciting on January 1st, uh, we had the Blackmouth opener in Marine Area 10, Puget Sound. That's the area around the city of Seattle. Uh, north tip of Vashon up to um, up to Kingston and we were able to get in on that opening day pull a nice 24 inch keeper out the blackmouth season may be open all month depending on what kind of weather we get uh, and what kind of how many anglers are out there fishing it uh, the, it's based on a quota so if uh, if we encounter too many sublegals and we encounter too many wild fish this could shut down early um, it is supposed to open up though uh, in March again as well when bigger fish like springers are returning once it gets to about half of the quota. So this, this is a big question mark. Uh, fisheries managers are going to be more cautious in closing this down early. Um, so you might need to get out and uh, get your black mouth fix on Puget Sound as well. Assuming we get some nice calm weather. <laughs> All right. All right. Now let's talk about the month of February. Uh, for, for me, February is prime time for steelhead. The Chehalis River system and the tributaries of the Chehalis River uh, <clears throat> start to get steelhead in much better numbers. That is prime time. That's when you gotta get out there, uh, get that done. There's still gonna be steelhead on the coast, but hatchery fish are gonna be slowing down. You gotta pay attention to the new regs. Some of the systems out there are closed and uh, you got wild fish coming in in February. Uh, retention's obviously gonna be closed for that. Uh, but you can fish for them in certain rivers. Uh, you got to pay attention to the regs, a bunch of special regs uh, this year. Uh, you can see all the Washington Coast steelhead seasons on pnwbestlife.com. You should always go to WDFW, check out their regs. All right, I got razor clams here, question mark. I'm hoping that uh, shellfish managers, when they do their testing, they're going to see uh, that razor clams are safe again, the demic acid levels are going to be dropping. Um, I'm hoping we get this opened up again. There are so many razor clams to go harvest on the coast. This is one of our favorite things to do in the month of February. Uh, get a bunch of razor clams, uh, especially if you can combine, do a little bit of razor clams, a little bit of steelhead fishing out there. Uh, that is good stuff. Now, I don't think the black mouth season is still gonna be open in Marine Area 10. I think it'll be closed before the month end of January, so I don't, I don't list it here. Let's move on. All right, now we're in the month of March, and one of the things I'm excited about, March 1st, we've got the uh, CQ Green Area 5 Blackmouth Opener. I would love to be out there for that. Gotta figure it out, how I'm gonna make that happen. I'd love to do that. Uh, also, Green Area 10 might open up again, uh, again, based on this quota system and everything, and uh, that could be really good too. Uh, the Chehalis system steelhead, will keep, it'll keep going, and then you gotta add the cowlets into that too. The Cowlitz steelheading has been getting better every year since, you know, since the since the blob years. So uh, you gotta keep your eye on that. Look at this escapement report to figure out uh, when to go when the fish are in. And then particularly exciting, I did this for the first time in 2020. I took my small jet boat <clears throat> over the bar in Westport on a calm day. You gotta look at so many things to make sure you're safe doing that in a small boat. I got a video on the channel all about Westport uh, bottom fishing in a small boat and being safe. Um, but I'm excited about this. Usually opens that uh, third Saturday or that third week of um, third week of March. And uh, get out there, get over the bar safely, get some lingcod, get some uh, <clears throat> get some black rockfish. That can be a blast. Um, as you get towards the end of the month, 
you gotta look at the water temps on the Columbia, you gotta look at the dam counts going over Bonneville. <clears throat> but a lot of times this Columbia, Columbia River Springer thing gets going. We don't know yet exactly what the season is. Um, the forecast is similar to last year. Um, so they might be a limited opening, but any chance to get in on uh, Columbia River Springers, uh, you gotta jump on now. That is, they are the best tasting salmon, uh, without a doubt. I love to have some Springers in my freezer every year. Last year was challenging. They, due to COVID, right, they closed it. They opened it up in May, it was funky. Sometimes good, sometimes really bad. Hopefully we get back to normal and we get some Columbia River Springers going on in 2021. All right, let's talk about the month of April now. The Springer season, if it's open, it's gonna get better every day it stays open. Some years it could be closed by April 1st. If the water's warmer, a lot of fish are biting, a lot of people are fishing for them, they hit the quota real fast. A lot of times though, this Springer season will go into the first, second week of April uh, before they shut it down. Hopefully we get a good season here, good run, good water. Um, Got to keep an eye on those river temps again. Um, I like the sec this, uh, what is the second, third week of April here. Uh, there's some good afternoon, really low tides. Get your oysters done, get your clamming done. Lots of spots on Hood Canal, uh, Puget Sound, different places nearby. You don't have to go too far. Get your oysters and clams done. Uh, it can be awesome. And then, of course, later in April, we've got halibut opening up. I am determined. To, to fish for halibut this year. Uh, <clears throat> I've not really uh, chased them too much in years past. I need to get a halibut on my boat this year. And uh, and then you got Lowland Lake opener for trout happening in that last weekend as well, I believe. Uh, here's an idea. Go catch some, some, some stalker trout and use them as halibut bait. Come on, Just send them downtown. Those, those, those butts will eat them up. Now we're getting into May. This is this getting into my favorite time of year. Now we're into May. Halibut's gonna keep going. Hopefully I got a halibut on my boat by now. Uh, you've got Puget Sound bottom fishing opening up, usually May 1st, uh, all over Puget Sound. Uh, I'm looking at CQ though. Uh, I love fishing out of CQ for bottom fish, salmon, whatever. But uh, I wanna be out there. You know, Marine Area 9, uh, you know, it's got some good uh, good bottom fish as well. Possession Bar, doing the lingcod thing out there. Um, Definitely got to put some time in on the bottom fish. Get your lean cod, get your rockfish. Um, pay attention to the regs there, where you can go, and, and based on the species there. <clears throat> and then usually up the middle of May here, we get the spot shrimp opener where the Puget Town turns yellow, right? You got yellow buoys all over the place. I love shrimp. We put over a thousand shrimp, I think close to 1,500 shrimp in our freezer uh, last year. Uh, looking to do that again. Uh, I love shrimping. Hood Canal, Puget Sound. Uh, I just love shrimping, period. Um, but uh, that should be happening. Uh, pay attention to WFW announcements. PNW Best Life is going to have the shrimping season totally covered. Uh, everything you need to know about spot shrimping in Puget Sound. Seasons, how to, it's all going to be up there on the blog and updated, up to date as the season goes. Definitely exciting in the month of May. This this grocery shopping season. Get your get your white fish, get your shrimp, get all that in the freezer. Turn the page. Get ready for salmon season. All right, now we're in the month of June. It's warming up. It's getting more exciting. We got a lot of recreation to do. That resident coho season usually opens up June first in Marine Area Ten. Hopefully, we can have that happen again. Spot shrimping keeps going. Bottom fish keeps going. Right. So uh, some of these things, they get a lot of attention on the openers, and then they die down, and then they get better. Sometimes it's great to be out there and get your ling caught in the mid middle of June, right before it closes in the Puget Sound. Um, and then hopefully by the end of June, uh, we get that Marine Area 4 uh, ocean opener uh, for salmon and, uh, and good quotas on kings and silvers. Uh, I would love to be out uh, dragging some, some, some downriggers uh, in the ocean. Maybe doing a little mooching around some reefs, some rock points, some cracks in the rocks in Marine Area 4 uh, by the end of June. That would be absolutely awesome. I'm looking forward to that. And what about July? July is absolute heaven in the Pacific Northwest. The weather's warm. You're on the water. You're dropping your crab pots in the morning, going out, in your salmon, 
getting a bunch of crab. What a great way to spend an afternoon, a morning on the water, maybe before work, after work, weekends, taking days off. July is prime time. If there's one month you're trying to figure out, oh, when should I come to, to Washington? It's gotta be July. Okay, maybe August. All right, I'm getting ahead of myself though. July, salmon, it's all happening. Uh, I would love to be out in CQ. Uh, I'm pretty much going to be out in CQ for the July 1st, assuming it's July 1st, salmon opener out there. Uh, that is fantastic. It was epic last year in 2020. It was unreal. Uh, and it got really crowded out there too as the word got out. But I'm going to be, I'm going to be there early. Uh, I'm going to be crabbing in throughout Puget Town. Uh, you get, usually Marine Area 9 is going to open up. <clears throat> it's been opening up by about the middle of July. Uh, you got to get those fish in Marine Area 9 uh, when they're still feeding, biting real good. You know, last year was a little bit weird. There was so much bait in the strait. People were like, oh, it was a bad year, it was a bad year. There was so much bait out in the strait that by the time the fish got to Marine Area 9, Marine Area 10, <clears throat> they were pretty fat, not very hungry, not very bitey. We actually had a season that went the entire, uh, an, an entire distance. Uh, we did not hit the quota and it wasn't because there wasn't fish. There was a lot of fish. Uh, they just weren't biting unless you got them out there in the straight then you absolutely put the put the put the slayage on them absolutely slayed them out there in the straight all right um by about <clears throat> middle of the month as well you're gonna get a lot of fish down in the south sound you know early on marine area 11 13 you can pull some fish you can grind out some fish but uh when you get towards that end of july uh the south sound really really heats up uh fishing uh, in Marine Area 10, up north, Jefferson Head, Kingston, uh, you can put a lot of kings in your boat and you start getting those ocean coho as well. Uh, it can be absolutely fantastic. It, don't forget, don't forget your crab. Get your crabbing done. Now we're living the dream. We're in the month of August and we've got Puget Sound uh, on fire for salmon. Kings are dying down. We've got silvers coming in, ocean silvers coming in. We got a horde of pinks probably taking over the sound. Uh, that was much better than expected two years ago. I'm expecting huge, huge numbers of pinks back to the way it used to be. Uh, you're gonna have kings in the river by about the middle of August. Uh, you still got crabbing to be done. Uh, you're gonna have pinks in the river uh, by the middle end of August. And then uh, you gotta get down to buoy 10. Hopefully we get a better season than we did last year. But uh, by the end of August, at least, uh, I gotta get down to uh, buoy 10 and uh, try to do some salmon fishing down there. I did that uh, for the first time in a while last year. <laughs> Craziest uh, fish story there. Got, got to pull the king out of there. That was fun. Uh, can't wait to do that again. And now things are starting to change a little bit because we're in the month of September and we've got rivers wide open for salmon. We got kings in the rivers. We got silvers in the rivers. We got pinks in the rivers. The rivers are full of salmon. And uh, then you start to get your hunting seasons. Your archery is going to open for deer later in the month for elk, depending on where you're at. And uh, you start to get uh, coastal salmon out there in the Forks area and uh, down south uh, along the coast. You start to get those big coastal kings coming in uh, into the rivers there. That is probably one of my absolute favorite uh, fishing seasons of the entire year. Get those bobber downs and those float those eggs get some nice eggs put them right in front of a big 30 pound king salmon and it's party time out on the coast all right later on you're gonna have the muzzleloader season open up for deer and next next month for elk let's go there all right out on the coast month of october you're gonna have coastal salmon a wide open king silvers you name it and uh, your muzzleloader elk seasons are gonna open you got deer general deer season opening you got river coho uh really Throughout uh, middle September and well into October, you're gonna have uh, just Puget Sound River coho uh, going nuts <clears throat> just about everywhere. And then of course, winter crab usually opens up as well. I, I think the last week of September, first two weeks of October, are the most congested recreation calendars. You got fishing, hunting, crabbing, so much to be done. There are not enough days to do it. Uh, if you're looking to take some time off, take those weeks off, go out and just fill your freezer, go nuts, have a blast. Uh, you really can't beat it and uh, you know can't forget about squid you know uh, squidding in 2020 uh, was good early on in the fall uh, even though people weren't talking about it as much well you can 
you might be able to get into the squid starting in October, maybe even earlier in 2021 if it continues to be good. And then you're gonna have some chum coming in uh, in the salt, some of the Puget Sound rivers, Hood Canal, uh, chum is an absolute blast. Numbers have been down a little bit. Hopefully we get better returns and uh, get back to some chum fun because that is a blast. All right, getting close to the end. Thanks for sticking with me. We're in November. We've got general elk, elk season. We got chum happening. We got winter crabbing, probably Port of Everett, Hood Canal. Going to be your best bets for that. We got squid in the Seattle front, waterfront, Tacoma waterfront. Now you got your late hunting seasons. These late hunting seasons are the ones that do the most, uh, have the most success on blacktail deer. Um, I got real close in 2020 on this, not quite, but I'm, I'm looking to apply some of those lessons learned, do better. That late hunting season is primo, weather's worse, not as many people out there, and uh, you can put the smack down on some deer or some elk, depending on what game management unit you're looking at. All right, finishing it off, December 2021. We still got crab open, we still got squid open, and we got last chance hunting. Last chance to put a big game animal in your freezer, and we're coming back to steelhead again. We've come full circle. We got steelhead coming in, uh, hatchery steelhead out on the coast, some of Puget Sound rivers, and uh, we are getting rock and rolling and thinking about 2022 again. All right, thanks for sticking with me this far and uh, taking a look at my recreation calendar. What are you most excited about in 2021? Hunting, fishing, shellfish harvesting, drop your favorite season uh, into the comments on this video. Please. Uh, like this video, help promote it, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be covering this stuff all 2021 uh, and giving you just everything you need to know, uh, hopefully to have a great 2021 recreating in the Pacific Northwest. That is the Pacific Northwest best life. Have an awesome year. Happy New Year, everyone. Take care.